Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Cloud Native Computing Foundation's Cloud Native Security Day. I'm Emily Fox, co-chair of SIG Security, and we'll be kicking off this event. Thank you for joining me and our awesome collection of presenters. We appreciate everyone's flexibility this year that enabled us to adjust the way in which this event is held. I would like to extend a huge thank you to CNCF for allowing the Special Interest Group for Security to hold this event a third time, as well as working with us, the Security Day Program Committee, to make the transition to a virtual event possible. The point of today is to bring together several diverse communities, security, development, and operations. This event is designed to enable collaboration and sharing that pushes the security of all cloud native applications and platforms forward. This day is for you, our community, and the cloud native tools and capabilities you work on and use that allow applications and products to be available to the end user in a well understood secure fashion. Throughout today, we want to encourage you to share in the Slack channel or through social media and help move the security of cloud native forward. So what is SIG security? What are we and what do we do? The CNCF Special Interest Group was formed from SAFE, a small group of like-minded security-focused individuals intent on reducing the gap between technology adoption and when security is applied. They also sought a more common knowledge of security, often seen as an alien language to the development and operations communities. SIG Security is here to assist in reducing data exposure of cloud-native applications, as well as unauthorized access to and by those applications. We focus on protecting cloud-native systems, we enable the community to engage in a common language of knowledge and tooling so developers and teams comprehend the implications of security and risk within their code, their applications, their deployments, and their architectures. We seek common tooling for the core foundations of security, allowing all cloud native applications to be transparent of security events so the community and its operators can take more impactful, direct, swift action before the next exploit and data exposure occurs. Our community is growing strong with over 68 members contributing weekly to our various presentations, projects, and documentation. Not all of our members are security experts, but each contribute to the SIG through their background, skills, and experiences that help make the SIG a robust, diverse, and welcoming community. It's not just all discussions, however. SIG security does many things. During our weekly meetings, we have presentations on numerous topics, everything from upcoming CNCF sandbox projects to requests for help by the community to move security forward. In October, we had a presentation from the Confidential Computing Consortium and the Cloud Security Alliance on serverless security. As you can see, we have involvement from many different areas of open source. We also perform security assessments that assist the community and its projects with an initial understanding of the state of their security, help inform the CNCF Technical Oversight Committee of the security aspects of cloud native projects, and provide cloud native projects with an initial starting point for the security documentation. As of October, we've helped completed five security assessments and in a true agile fashion, reviewing what worked and didn't work in hopes of providing an even better process and experience for projects, as well as more concrete security impact to those projects and to the Technical Oversight Committee. As part of the Intoto assessment, we now host a community-driven catalog of supply chain compromises, which provide real-world examples that help raise awareness and provide detailed information that lets us understand attack factors and consider how to mitigate potential risk in the supply chain. We are currently wrapping up a major effort for the community called the Cloud Native Security White Paper, which is written to give the audience a guide to their first cloud native security architecture. This is a huge undertaking by the community, and while extremely comprehensive, we fully expect to continue iterating and improving it after it's released. Today's event was started last year as a community-driven project and has grown to be an event at KubeCon and CloudNativeCon North America and Europe, as well as for the first time this year, featuring an all virtual CTF and wrap up. Check the event's Cloud Native Security Day CTF Slack channel for more information. You see, the passion of the community is what moves us forward and our community driven projects are the emphasis of this. Traditionally, we hold in person events co located with KubeCon and Cloud Native Con. However, given everything going on, we want to ensure our community is safe. Looking forward, we hope to continue our in person meetups as valuable avenues to team network and continue moving security forward for Cloud Native. Throughout the day, please use the hashtag CNSecurityDay on social media, and don't forget to provide feedback to our speakers and feedback about the event. Today is a day of first for both the speakers as well as the Security Day Program Committee, and we want to continue to improve this event and events like it, so please provide feedback. If you have a question during the event, place it in the Q&A area of the platform. You may also reach SIG Security anytime in the CNCF Slack 
hashtag SIG-Security channel. I hope that you are interested in learning more about what we do, so be sure to join us in our Slack channel, join our weekly meetings, and sign up for our email list. Becoming a member is very easy and there are so many ways to get involved. By joining our meetings, reviewing open issues, and even PRs, you are helping meet our mission as a valued member. Thank you again for joining us today. It could not be possible without proposals submitted by you, the community. We had a lot of great submissions this year, and while we couldn't accept everyone's proposal for this event, we hope to see your proposals next year as we continue the Security Day events. Today, we are excited to have an excellent group of speakers lined up for you, so let's get started.